Let's talk about Martha Rogers, the science of Unitarian Irreducible Human Beings. But first, who is Martha Rogers? Martha Rogers is a teacher and a mentor to an impressive list of nursing scholars and theorists, including Newman and Pars. Martha Rogers, born in May 12, 1914, in Dallas, Texas, earned a develop, di diploma in 1936 from Knoxville General Hospital, bachelor degree from George Peabody in Nashville, tennis in 1973. She became a head of division of nursing of New York in University, New York University in 1954. She died in March 1994. The philosophical underpinnings of the theory of Martha Rogers entitled The Science of Unitary Neurodocible Human Beings. According to Karatao Mohika 2015, the theory began as a theoretical hypothesis that was incorporated from the different hypotheses of various sciences. Rogers then drew from Einstein's hypothesis of relativity and Heisenberg's vulnerability rule to show the unconventionality of this universe. The work of Rapoport and Herrick provided the background on open systems and contributes to the premise of evolution of human nature so 1994. Rogers' synthesis of the works of these researchers framed the premise of a recommendation that human frameworks are open frameworks installed in an open natural framework. She additionally got Different ideas, including the idea that time is unidirectional, that living frameworks have example and association, and that man is a conscious, believing, being fit for mindfulness, feeling, and picking. With these speculations, Rogers fostered her unique hypothesis of unitary man, which she retitled The Study of Unitary People on 1986. And before she dies, it became the study of unitarian and unchangeable individuals on 1994. That's all, thank you. First is assumption. In Rogers' 1970, she presented several assumptions about man. These are as follows. Man is a unified whole possessing integrity and manifesting characteristics that are more than and different from the sum of his parts. Man and environment are continuously exchanging matter and energy with one another. The life process evolves irreversibly and unidirectionally along the space-time continuum. Pattern and organization identify man and reflect his innovative wholeness. Man is characterized by the capacity for abstraction and imagery, language and thought, sensation, and emotion. According to Rogers 1990, she later revised the term man to human being to coincide with the request for gender-neutral language in the social sciences and nursing science. And next is concepts. In Rogers' work, the unitary human being and the environment are the focus of nursing practice. Other central components are energy fields, openness, pandimensionality, and pattern. This she identified as the building blocks of her system. First is, human unitary human being is a reducible, indivisible, multidimensional energy field identified by pattern and manifesting characteristics that are specific to the whole and which cannot be predicted from the knowledge of the parts. Next is health. Unitary human health signifies an irreducible human field 
manifestation. It cannot be measured by the parameters of biology or physics or of the social sciences. Next is nursing, the study of unitary, irreducible, indivisible human and environmental fields, people and their world. Nursing is a learned profession that is both a science and an art. Next is environmental field. An irreducible, indivisible, pan-dimensional energy field identified by pattern and integral with, with the human field. Then, next is energy field. The fundamental unit of the living and the non-living. Field is a unifying concept. Energy signifies the dynamic nature of the field. A field is in continuous motion and is infinite. Next is openness. Refers to qualities exhibited by open systems. Human beings and their environment are open systems. Next is pandimensional. A non-linear domain without spatial or temporal attributes. Then last but not the least, the pattern. The distinguishing characteristic of an energy field perceived as a single wave. Second is relationships. The science of unitary and irreducible human beings is fundamentally abstract. Therefore, specifically defined relationships differ from those in more linear theories. The major components of Rogers' model revolve around the building blocks and the principles of homeodynamics. This explains the nature of and direction of the interaction between unitary human beings and the environment. Rogers 1986 among the relationships that Rogers posited are that all things are integral in that energy field are in continuous mutual process and that pattern is the manifestation of the integrality of each entity and of the environmental energy field other major relationships within Rogers in 1990 work are contained in the following statements. Humans and environment are interrelated in that neither has an energy field. Both are integral energy fields. Second is manifestations of pattern emerge out of the human or environmental field. Mutual process are continuously innovative. And last, The group field is irreducible and indivisible to itself and integral with its own environmental field. In conclusion, nursing is concerned with maintaining and promoting health, preventing illness, and caring for those who are sick or disabled. The purpose of nursing for Rogers in 1986 is to help human beings achieve well-being within the potential of each energy individual, family, or group because human energy fields are complex. Individualizing nursing services supports simultaneous human and environmental exchange encouraging health in Rogers 1990. For the usefulness, the theory is a synthesis of phenomena that are important to nursing. It is a framework that is abstract, unified, and highly derived, and it does not define specific hypotheses or theories. Rather, it offers a worldview from which nurses can derive theories and hypotheses, as well as proposed relationships tailored to specific situations. In essence, The theory opens offers a wider of possibilities for studying humans as individuals and groups, 
as well as various health situations as manifestations of pattern and innovation. Rogers' model emphasizes unitary experience and provides an abstract philosophical framework for nursing practice. In clinical settings, Rogerian practitioners employ the visible manifestations of Rogers' science, like using therapeutic touch that Martha Rogers influenced to develop it. Therapeutic touch can define as energy transmission through the laying on of hands. For the testability, according to Bremlet 2010, due to the model's abstractness, work is not directly testable, but it is testable in principle. The persimony of Martha Rogers' theory entitled The Science of Unitary and Irreducible Human Beings. This theory is said to be relatively parsimonious. The model has five key definitions, and this is joined with the three standards of homeodynamics, dynamics, and six assumptions about individuals. These three are the significant components of the work, and in spite of its effortlessness, it is said to be that this theory is hard for some nurses to appreciate or to understand because its ideas are extremely abstract. Nurses who wishes their examination and practice to be directed by Rogers' model will benefit from studying with a Rogerian, Rogerian scholar who utilizes the model routinely. And that's all. Thank you. And for the last, value and extending nursing. The major value of Rogers' work has been extending nursing science by challenging traditional ways of thinking about the world and nursing. Roger moved beyond the focus on such concepts and principles as adaptation, biopsychosocial beings, probabilistic views, and the human as some of parts thinking that had been common in nursing science. The contribution to nursing science of the science of unitary and irreducible human beings is that it carries nursing into areas that are impossible to study using linear, three-dimensional, and reductionistic methods now understand as complicity science. What makes the theory unique from other theory that was previously discussed in class? The Roger theory is not focusing on how we should care our patient but also she organized the spe specialization to which nurses and other health providers maintain or do the discrete things such as dressing the patient, medication, administration, or health teaching. What motivates the nursing theories to come up with this idea or thought? Is it based on her education, experience in the nursing practice, her philosophical underpinning, provide your evidence? Martha Rogers loves to study and learn since she was young. She lent a way and a door to expand knowledge in nursing in a more distinguished manner, like what is nursing, why there are nurses, and what are their purpose. Nurses are in service to human beings. It is about people, how they are born and live and die, in health and in sickness, in joy and in sorrow. Nurses' mission is to transmit and translate nursing knowledge into nursing practice by being into human service. It is the heart that understands and the hand that suits. It is based on Martha Rogers' interview and statement way back 1966. Example number one. Example number one. The patient sees his or her immediate family problematizing the subtotal of the patient's hospital bills that lead the family members to argue on who will pay for it. The patient would feel bad for this scenario and think that it might be better if he or she is gone and stop being a burden to anyone, especially in his or her family. To scaling to stress and slow recovery. Example number 2 Donna knows there is something wrong with her body but she's afraid of what would be the result if she decided to go and seek professional help. Nonetheless, 
she decided to go at the hospital. The doctor asked her to undergo blood test. The nurse saw Donna scratching her nails due to anxiety. The nurse go close to Donna and put her hands on top of Donna, calming her. Transferring positive vibes and assurance to the patient, that therapeutic touch helps the patient restore harmony in the patient's energy field. For our takeaways, Martha Rogers, The Science of Unitary and Irreducible Human Being, views human as a whole irreducible human being with distinctive characteristics that is an abstract system, an open system that is constantly interacting with the environment. The field coexists and is integral that includes the entire energy field other than a human being, thus manifestation is perceived. This system is irreducible and is identified by its pattern and organization. According to Rogers, this could affect the patient's health and treatment positively or negatively. It could be physical, emotional, social, intellectual, or spiritual. With regard to the activity, sending our key points helped us in widening our understanding of the theory. Creating this video blog may not be easy, but it is fun to do.